you want the hottest 3D game action in the comfort of your home, you've got two choices. Pay two grand for a computer with a 200 megahertz processor, 32 megabyte SD RAM, three accelerator card, four gigabyte hard disk, three PCI slots, one AGP port, four or megabyte pay a video fraction card. of that for a PlayStation. How does PlayStation run 3D games at less than one tenth the price of a PC? Let's pop the hood and take a look at its design advantages over the PC. We'll talk in plain language and look at four chips. Think of them this way. One is a juggler that manages information. Another is a math brain, which recalculates it. An artist draws from the calculations, and a palette and canvas give the artist room to work. From there, the image goes onto your TV screen. Let's take a closer look at the action from CD to screen. A laser bounces off pits and bumps in the microscopic track of your CD. These are read as zeros and ones, offs and ons. The zeros and ones are translated into 3D coordinates. The coordinates are picked up by the juggler, also known as the central processing unit, or CPU. It interprets the data, divides it into jobs for the other chips to do, and manages the workflow. The 3D coordinates get sent to the math brain. It's the Geometry Transform Engine, or GTE. The math brain does calculations that scale, rotate, and translate. That's not easy. The game is three dimensions, but the screen is only two dimensions. So the math brain has to flatten a 3D world onto a 2D screen using perspective conversion. Be glad you're not crunching the numbers yourself. The math brain produces a sketch of 2D data, which it hands off to the artist, another name for the graphics processing unit. The artist paints in the sketch. To have room to work, the artist gets color and texture from a palette and builds the actual image on a canvas. The palette and canvas are in a fourth chip called the video memory. From the canvas, the image is projected on your TV. Meanwhile, you're going wild pressing your controller. That makes your console recalculate and redraw new images. Everything happens at 30 million instructions per second, so let your fingers fly. A PC does this work using about $2,000 worth of components. So how does a PlayStation do it for less than one-tenth of the cost? To be fair, a PC is designed for other roles besides 3D games. And because PlayStation is focused totally on games, it can deliver maximum gameplay at minimum cost. The most important game components are more tightly integrated in a PlayStation. For instance, this chip is both the juggler and the math brain, which increases the speed. In a PC, these functions would be performed by separate components. By being separate, they're more expensive to manufacture. In a PlayStation, the different key chips share the same communications pathway for faster response. Key chips in a PlayStation have a design dedicated to gameplay action. This helps 20 of the most important gameplay effects, such as running into the distance, happen faster with less number crunching. The result is a lean, efficient game engine running right now under your hood. Let's review. Off your CD comes a gazillion zeros and ones. The juggler fields them, the math brain converts them, then the artist draws them putting textures on a palette and building the image on a canvas. The image goes from there onto your TV. Meanwhile, your fingers can just pound away. Play on!